Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, we got that going. All right. Hey there folks, Sable Media Guy here and welcome to yet another video. Guess what? It is LSPDFR again. I finally found some time to go ahead and, well, record another video. Uh, I have done several upgrades and things like that, so I'm actually able to record better content. Uh, now I'm not recording LSPDFR on my main rig anymore. That is instead thrown through an Elgato and put it on my server computer. So that one has all the cores it possibly needs to even process the video. So now that we have that all done, yes, that's a beautiful car, but let's stare at me. I'm the focus point here. Not conceited, promise you that. Anyways, so uh, I have my other computer that's doing the recording, so that way there is absolutely no performance hit. Uh, so that's exciting to me. Um, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves out on patrol. Um, okay, that was interesting. But let's get out on patrol and uh, see what happens. I am still using the same vehicle packs as I always have before, so there's nothing fancy or new there. And apparently my blinker is on, but it's okay, I gotta turn on myself for calls. So, let's go ahead and just uh, do what we need to do, do a normal patrol here. Uh, today we are out in uh, Blaine County. Uh, I believe the last time I left off I was in, LS, uh, in uh, Los Santos. So. Yeah, we're back out here again. Um, this is actually going to be episode number 38, so I'm just going to wait for this guy here. I think I'm going to go out to the highway and uh, watch out for things out there. So the highway is where we're going to go. And I do have realistic damages on, so I, I won't go too crazy or doing anything like that. Um, but it is so good to actually play LSPDFR again and have it actually working. Uh, I, went, I also added in a new mod where um, the police radio is more realistic. So hopefully soon you'll be able to you know, hear it and uh, be able to tell the difference. That guy's going to collide. Okay, he's not. He's going to turn. But... Nothing came up on the license plate, so I have no reason to stop him at all or anything like that, so... Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We've got a person carrying a knife on East Joshua Road. So, we got somebody, uh, carrying a knife, so we're gonna go ahead and... head back towards that direction where that call was. Apparently, that was just right by where we drove. So, let's see what's going on here. Suspect is female. So we have a female suspect we're supposed to be looking for, and so far I'm not seeing anything, so... I think she's going to be on the other side of this here wall. Nope, there she is, right there. I see her. She's on top of the, uh, the levee. Let's go ahead and make contact with the suspect here. Ma'am? Okay. So, the 
Yeah, she's definitely got a knife. And she's walking in the middle of the street. We've got a possible 148. Hey, 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 don't you start George. running for me. Ma'am. I'm gonna beat you silly. <laughs> don't you fucking point a knife at me. Damn it! I had to. I had to. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. So uh, I went ahead and called for an ambulance. Uh, yeah, because I don't want anything to do with that. Wow, they were coming in hot. Holy shit. Okay. Here we go. If they're able to revive her, I am going to arrest her because she attempted to assault. Well, could be worse. Stay calm. I can save you. Okay, good. She's gonna be okay. They uh, didn't make it. Damn it. Well, never mind. She died. Oh well. So that's gonna be code four. And we're gonna go ahead and get back. Wow, the weather really took a dump. But whatever, let's uh, go ahead and get back into it. So, yeah. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back out to the freeway like I originally intended to. As soon as I get an opening, and that'll be now. So, sighting. And also, on top of that, and you know, I, I mean, I did find some time to, you know, record LSPDFR, uh, but. This is also while I'm doing a very early morning shift. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have vehicles racing on East Joshua Road. No, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm good. Someone else can take care of that. I don't feel like chasing around hooligans like that. I'm nearby. I'll take the call for you. So they got that. They'll take care of But yeah, that's the uh, new uh, radio sounds mod. You just pull out of there like a bat out of hell. So did you. So we're gonna get you all pulled over. Let's see if we can, but you're a trailer, so let's see how this works. I had to get up beside them. There we go. A lot over there, Chief. You? Oh, I gotta get a little bit closer. There we go. A little more off the road there, friend. Keep going. All the way off. Going straight. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. Come on, you can do it. Wow, I never realized how difficult it would be to pull over a damn trailer. There we go. No longer mimicking me, but I'm gonna get out of your way, Mr. Truck. So, we got a guy in this truck. He was, when he was coming off of that street down over there, he kind of cut off that motorcyclist who was obviously there. So we're gonna go and uh, check them out and make sure everything's okay. I do not have the smart police radio, so I cannot run license plates and things like that. Uh, I do have the police computer. Oh, he looks stoned as fuck. Hi! Hi there, my name is uh, Chris, and I'm with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Uh, I pulled you over because it uh, looks like you failed to yield at that stop sign and you almost hit a motorcyclist over there. He had to do a pretty quick stop. So, can I get your uh, license, registration, proof of insurance, all that fun stuff? Piff long. 
All right, Mr. Lars, I'll just wait right here while I go ahead and run your information. John Lars. Well, let's take a look and see what we got for John Lars. Shit, I already forgot how to spell it. John. Not Lard. <laughs> he is wanted by the LSP. LS, LS, Los Santos Sheriff's Department. That's awesome. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call for a backup uh, unit. We have a code 99 and grape seed. Respond code 2. So now that we got that guy called out, uh, once the other unit arrives, I'm gonna go ahead and order the suspect out. The holy crap! Okay, we got that going. All right. Now that I have him here. Hi, hey John. All right. So uh, unfortunately, I ran your information, uh, and uh, something came back where the sheriff's department is uh, needing you. So I'm gonna have to order you out of the vehicle. Now, what I need you to do is... is You're about to get yourself arrested here, because apparently the other way doesn't work. I have to point a gun at you, apparently. Alright. Apparently, either you did something stupid, or you need to answer some questions down, to, uh, down in... Uh, Sandy Shores. God, I cannot talk today. I am tired. I have been up since one in the morning. All right, go ahead and plant your ass in there. Now. Oh, where the hell did you go? All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll leave your vehicle here. Dang it, I almost made it to the freeway. You know, actually, I'm just gonna call the tra prisoner transport. One Lincoln 18 to dispatch. Can I get a prisoner transport to my location, please? Backup required for a suspect placed under arrest on East Joshua Road. Roger, dispatch 27 on route to assist call 3. Roger. So, that, uh,. Wow, what is he doing way out on the freeway? I'm gonna wait for an eternity here. Oh, there he is, right there. Hi. Well, that didn't take you very long to get here. I guess that you're all right. And there was no need to call him an asshole, but whatever. All right, now we are officially code four, and uh, I can continue on to the freeway. Thanks so much. No problem. I get the hell out of my way. Dispatch calling unit one Lincoln eighteen citizens report a suspicious vehicle on Sea View Road. Apparently, there's a suspicious vehicle full of immigrants. No, I'm gonna go on the freeway and do what I need. Actually, no, I don't. I can't. I don't need to go on the freeway. The state patrol's got that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna hang around uh, Sandy Shores here for a little bit. See what I can get into. Nothing's coming up with the license plate reader, so I guess that's a good thing, I suppose. Everybody's done paid their tabs or whatnot. I don't go for the ones that are flagged for no insurance, because that's not really... There's, that guy just ran around. I think it's a scripting thing. I'm not going to get that guy. Apparently, they don't know how to stop. Okay. But yeah, they uh, they usually don't stop that stop sign. I usually hit them once in a while, but other than that, otherwise I'd be sitting there all day pulling people over. But he is doing freaking 15 miles an hour under the speed limit. He isn't swerving, so everything's okay there. It is 
getting pretty late. Hazards, that was an accident. My bad. Check the uh, the backyards of some areas here. Make sure everything's okay. Everything seems to be okay. I don't, I don't see anything suspicious. I mean, the only thing that's suspicious is me stopping in the middle of the road, but other than that, things seem fine. Surprisingly, it's a really quiet night out here in Sandy Shores. Uh, I guess I couldn't ask for anything better, especially when I'm trying to, you know, re-lube the gears uh, for getting back into LSPDFR. It has been a couple of months since I've actually recorded an episode and or, you know, actually legitimately played GTA 5 as an officer. So... Uh, it's a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check out this uh, this convenience store down over here. And see how things are going over here. Making sure nothing funny is going on out there. There's lots of illegal activity out in this area, so I like to keep an eye out on it, make sure everybody's doing okay. So we're gonna just sit here and just chill. There seem to be a lot of cars on fire around the uh on the radio. I always hear that in traffic, air, uh, air traffic. So, yeah. Dispatch calling unit 1 Lincoln 18. We have a possible 148 on Marina Drive. A pursuit Drive. of a tractor. That's a new one. another call. I'm headed over there. Alright. We got ourselves a hot pursuit of a tractor going on over here. It's going to be really freaking hard to see him though because he's probably not going to have any lights. That's what I'm... Oh, he's got lights. Let's not be aggressive. Let's not be aggressive. Let's just follow him. Make sure he does everything by the book. Right, because you totally needed to turn right into him. Is that for dramatic purposes? You know, let me... Let me take over as primary... Marina Drive and Grande Whoa, holy shit. So uh, we are now heading into a loop where he's gonna do a loopy loop apparently. This is gonna be fun. Are we just gonna do NASCAR or something? What? Good thing he's not gonna go in a super high-speed pursuit where things are gonna get out of control. Assistant 
assistance needed on Marina Drive. Unit is Unit is He's getting a little more erratic because they keep attacking. Now we're heading back into Sandy Shores. Oh, there's gunfire. Oh, shit, there's gunfire. I hope that's not directed at us. This guy needs to be pulled over. We need... Man, 37 miles an hour. That thing can go fast. I forgot how to change the police tactics, so looks like that's not going to happen. Or I can make them go full out aggressive. Nope. Come on, dude. So the only thing I could think of is if we... Oh, that's it. I'm going to sacrifice my phone. Oh, wait. He's going to... Ooh. Okay. That didn't stop him. Go get him, fellas. He done broke my car. That's I'm gonna run a roadblock here. Because I don't have uh, road spikes, so that's the only thing I could do. Oh, that another unit came in. Shit, biker hit me. God damn it. Pain in the ass. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Get him out, get him out. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Down on the ground, down on the ground. Give it up. Give up. You're dead. Oh. Attention, this is dispatch. No further units required. One Lincoln 18 dispatch. Can I get a prisoner transport to my location out on East Joshua Road? Backup required for a suspect placed under arrest in Sandy Shores. Delta 21. Infantry right here. Just pulling up. On your six. Roger. So, guess what? It's time to go get a new car again. Yay! Except I have to have these back ones Attention on. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a possible robbery in Grande oh, Samoa Desert. We're gonna cheat and get the vehicle fixed now, because uh, we gotta go get that. That's a robbery in progress. Plenty of ways away, so we gotta really haul ass and get out there. Tractors don't care. Tractors don't care. That car was going way too fast. People. 
Move it over. Attention all units. We've got an officer requiring assistance in Santiansky Mountain Range. This is 27 I'm on a six. Add me to your screen. Okay, so we are on the scene. I got my backup units here now. Um, suspects are currently... There you go, he's giving up. He's giving up. He's giving up. Move in, fellas. He ain't worth the fucking steam off my piss. Get down on the ground, sir. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. One Lincoln 18 to dispatch system uh, code four. You blind or something? You fucking waste of oxygen. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Come on, asshole. Get in the car. Get in the police car nice and slow. Apparently the clerk is just gonna go home and think about what has just happened tonight. He's probably shitting his pants. One Lincoln 18 dispatch. Can I get a uh, prisoner transport to my location on Sonora Freeway at the 24-7 supermarket? Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Grande Sonora Desert. Delta 21, 1023 right here, just pull up, I'm your six. Roger. Hello. There we go. Very nice. What an ass. You're going away for a long time. At least you were smart and gave up and to make me have to tase or shoot you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have yourself a good night. Be safe out there. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up with that. Uh, pretty eventful. Nothing too crazy, and I don't think there really was a uh, funny moment that happened. Uh, well, maybe there's like one or two, but still, uh, I think this was still a pretty good episode, the first episode in quite some time. Um, so I thought I'd get back into it because I really love making the LSPDFR uh, series of episodes. So... Yeah, if you uh, like what you see, go ahead and uh, like, and, and if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Also, I'd like to give uh, the opportunity to promote my uh, second channel that I have with a couple of buddies. The channel is called Two and a Half Fat Guys, and what we do is we play some, uh, well, rather shitty video games, or good games. It all depends. Uh, we actually have been uh, playing a lot of the... Pokemon series, uh, so like uh, Leaf Green, I hope I said that right, don't fry me of those people who love Pokemon. Uh, I'm playing Crystal, and I believe Jeff himself is playing Black, and and then Jacob was, was playing the uh, Leaf Green. And uh, do go ahead and check out their channels, I'll also have them listed down below, so uh, thank you guys. You have yourself a uh, wonderful rest of your time playing uh, here on YouTube, watching some interesting content, and I do appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch my content. Alright, have a good one, guys.